Pulling up to the side of the passenger So she wants someone fly, yes sir Me a flyer than an astronaut Never been caught Like juggernaut, man, I'll stop a ball Got to have my way with you Cause you know the only way is all Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. Well, let's go to MMA. Israel Adesoya lost to Sean Strickland, an American mixed martial art um, guy who, of course, uh, like a uh, Listen, looking at his record, his resume right here, you can actually tell the guy is, I don't know, a B-level fighter, definitely a B-level fighter for sure. Uh, the three matches, as me, uh, it's me smash out records, um, as uh, the three matches, 28 wins, five losses, okay. So looking at people he lost to, of course, Alex Pereira, Jared uh, Connie, um, Elizu Zaleski, Dos Santos. He also lost to Kamaru Usman. So, he's a below fighter, definitely. Not a bum, he's a very good fighter. However, the way he dealt with Israel Desoya just shocked me a little bit because Ad Desoya didn't really show any ambition or any urgency to win this fight. Okay, from the very first from the very first round everything went like like literally the other way everything all the plan that israel Desoya had i just don't usually takes his time he usually counters he's not an, an aggressor only when he wants to die you know what i mean there was a time like when, when he wanted to do that and he went all the way in but i just has, has always been a, a safety first fighter uh, kind of a, an Anthony Joshua type, but he's a more of an av of, a, of a skilled, of an advanced uh, MMA fighter compared to others. Um, he's very good, a uh, very good striker. Um, he can hit you from different angles, and he does have this, you know, this uh, warrior mentality you know when he wants to d when he wants to die he goes in there and, and doesn't care about what's coming back but lately i've been seeing another uh, this lawyer i've been like listen i don't know what's going on maybe it's because he's so active on social media like basically the guy is like has he lost the passion i don't know man i'm not gonna like let's give credit to strickland uh because in the very first round strickland uh, landed a very clean shot, you know, on a Desoya. That clean shot will go down as one of the biggest ball overs ever seen inside the octagon, okay? And then he bomb rushed a Desoya, you know, literally just he wanted to take him out uh, in style. And the somehow managed to survive that round despite basically being dropped heavy. But bro, bro, that was an bro, that one too was something else. It was clean and that could literally end a lot of uh fighters uh career. Basically, once the hand right right hand lands, I don't know how many MMA fighters can take it. You know, can take it, of course you take it, you may go down, but can sustain, can defend themselves in that situation. And the managed to do that. It shows that the guy, you know, is still very much there. It's just that I think in this fight it didn't show any urgency. So basically this was an embarrassing fight that he lost. This is a fight he could have won. And you have to give credit to um Strickland because he came here with a game plan. Yeah, I heard that uh, Alex Pereira, you know, like uh, gave uh, Strickland uh, tips to be his right I, I just, I don't think that's the case. I think Adesanya just wasn't the Adesanya we know, okay? Uh, Strickland did a very good job, got the belt, you know, and there's a champion now in the middle, the new middleweight champion. And I heard that there is a rematch. Um, I mean, um, Dana White wants to make the rematch happen.
But okay, after losing at the same, I just went straight to the internet and posted a video of him, you know, like basically throwing his uh, showing his uh, the bruises and his face, and like nothing happened to me. Like, I just said, he's a very f cool guy. <laughs> Hate losing, but so he said he's like, listen, he hate losing, but he love living life. You know, um, what does that mean as a fighter? Like, what kind of mindset Azaria has now? Like, what's going on with Azaria? So let's hear from the guy. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first, Lucius. Um, fuck. Oh. It's not that bad. Nothing broken. People touched up. Nah, we great, yeah, baby. Still thriving. It's all good. I hate losing, but I love living. And I'm thriving, so yeah. Hang out with the family first. And I'll address the people. But right now, I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first, Lucius. Um, no doubt that Adesanya is one of the fun like the guy is he just looks like the guy is a vibe basically he's like an open book you know he knows he's in and out of the octagon you know he's a listen he, I don't, he will go down as an MMA legend regardless of this because the guy it's just that good you know it's, it's like of course he has a lot of haters and stuff like that and people that don't really like him for other reasons but the Sonyan is a guy he's a vibe he's a guy that you know um opens up he's a guy that um um you know admits um to his mistakes or to his errors or or uh, knows what he needs to do so but one thing on this is that Alisson, I feel like mentally he wasn't ready for this fight. It, like literally, this is a fight. This is a fight he could easily win, but somehow he was not motivated. And also, if you also look at um, the fifth round, on the fifth round, Alisson did not show any urgency because literally, um, Strickland won almost all the rounds i think apart from round two that i, I gave alessoya the rest strickland won all the round like basically did better you know was more consistent and uh, kind of talented at the soya kind of uh, he made and saying wanted to want want to brawl and uh, the thing is that at could could have easily countered this guy many times but he chose not to it was just okay his defense was very off tonight okay it was crazy um what was next for the set right now well the rematch i think will happen you know as usual as usual and i think i decided needs to take uh, some time off like time off the internet just go back like you know just staying inactive for a while okay do you uh, react to a react do your normal reaction and then when the when the rematch gets announced you know just 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 stay off the internet and, 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 go, and go back to training and then focus refocus yourself because Alisson could, could have could have really won this fight Strickland credits to him a very good fighter he's got heart and he's got uh, determination but people I don't think people would really give him credit like that even the biggest Alisson haters know that the Adesanya that um Strickland for tonight was not motivated for this fight maybe they need to pay more because or maybe just like now accomplishing in a way like okay I'm, I mean I've made all these things I made the money I'm like I don't I don't want him to be like that because the guy is still very much one of the biggest names in uh, MMA you know so this is fight the fight game anything happens anything can happen and uh, you know as a as a champion a champion will always be a champion he just needs to regroup get back on track what do you guys make of this fight what would you want Adesanya to do next and what should he have done is Adesanya um as, as, Adesanya, as, as Adesanya lost uh, the hunger 
of a champion or was this just not his day just he's, maybe he wasn't motivated or something happened or so let's not make much excuses for this one because at the end of the day you, you get paid to go to go in there and fight you know and uh strickland got a job done but i'm still very much amazed how i decided to get knocked out in that first round that right hand was too brutal bro it was brutal strickland jumped on adesanya immediately that he, he, he landed that clean shot so because adesanya he managed to take that that, that shot you know almost got knocked out but go back up and uh stood his ground defending well but not his best performance but it's just one of those things that happens you know so guys let me just subscribe catch you on the next one god bless you for us for the bbc Yes, sir. Me a flyer than a national. Never been caught like the gun, not man, I'll stop up. Got to have my way with you, though you know.